Hi, Meta from Moxa here. I'm here to demonstrate how easy it is to set up the mGate 5105, an easy to use Modbus to Ethernet IP gateway. Here, we have a PC with SCADA software installed and a VFD that's connected to an Ethernet IP controller to control the speed of this motor. Now, to connect this VFD to your control network, you need to convert Modbus RTU protocol, which the VFD uses, to Ethernet IP protocol, which the controller and the SCADA system use. I'm going to show you how to do all this with the mGate 5105 in just four easy steps. Before we start, go to the Gateway's web interface and log in with your account and password. In the main menu, there is a quick setup wizard that guides you through the configuration process. Step 1. System settings. Assign an IP address and netmask for the gateway, then click Next. Step 2. Select protocol. In this demo, the PLC should be set as an Ethernet IP scanner and the VFD as a Modbus RTU slave. Click Next to continue. Step 3. Ethernet IP. You can see that Roll 1 and Roll 2 of the M gate have been confirmed. Based on this, the Ethernet IP adapter settings have been set up automatically for our gateway, and we can just click Next to go to the next step. Step 4. Modbus RTU ASCII. Select a Modbus mode to use and enter the serial parameter settings of your Modbus slave device, such as the baud rate, parity, and which interface to use. To control the speed of the VFD in this demo, we will need to click Add to add a Modbus command. Fill in the details as needed, such as the slave ID, function code, read address, and read quantity, click OK, then click Next to view the summary page. Finally, check to make sure your settings are correct, and then click Save. And we're done. Now we can turn the knob on the VFD to change the speed of the motor, and we can monitor this change in our SCADA system. Thanks for watching. To learn more about Moxa's industrial protocol gateways, click the link on your screen to see more of our videos.